Next, I'd like to introduce Larry Gladney. Larry Gladney is the Edmund and Louise Kahn Professor for Fac Faculty Excellence in Physics. He is the Associate Dean for Natural Sciences in the School of Arts and Sciences. He led his first uh, seminar for TIP, however, somehow fit that into his impossible schedule uh, this past spring on energy, the environment, and sustainability. Larry Gladney. Good morning. So as you just heard from Alan, I'm the newcomer on the block to, uh, to TIP. And therefore, I think probably in a unique position among the panel here to give you the unabridged version of what it takes to get faculty and administrators involved in an activity like this. Uh, but I have to say that I don't need the words. You've just heard from two of the finest examples. I get to follow the teachers who've been part of the institute. <laughs> This is what I think really is first and foremost, as you heard from the Delaware team, the, the activation barrier that actually gets people past the point of being too busy, too involved, and having too few resources to share in the kind of work that the national institutes have, uh, have brought to fore. And that is that we have empowering teachers, we have inspired teachers, we have dedicated teachers, who are in classrooms, and if they're classrooms like the ones that I've been involved in for 25 years while at Penn, they're not only underserved, they're criminally underserved. So Penn adds a tremendous amount to the city of Philadelphia. It's by good margin the largest employer. It adds to the life, intellectual life of the university through its many activities, and yet still, I get asked on a regular basis when I go to these schools, why isn't Penn more involved in what is an under, underserved population of students who when I go into the classrooms, many times will say, why are you here? This is a terrible class. This is a terrible school. You should be spending your efforts, being from Penn, someplace where it's actually gonna make a difference. This is the kind of attitude that happens to students who've been for so many years, put into situations that they know don't serve them well, don't provide them a future that they can look forward to, and still understand that the, bro the blockades that are in the way are not being pushed aside by those that they see at the top of the social chain, those who are at our research universities. So for 25 years, I've been frustrated by and fascinated by the problem of how we couple the tremendous resources of our research universities into this issue of education. After all, for any society, there's not any job that's more important than preparing the next generation to take over after us. And yet, somehow, we live in a state of Pennsylvania that keeps raising the bar for the challenges for our students year by year by year. So it was a revelation to me to discover that there is a model out there, a model that not only works, but works to do all the things that you heard from Cristobal. It keeps teachers in the classroom. It keeps them inspired. It makes them more dedicated, more on top of their content areas, and more energetic with regards to the students that they teach. And it keeps them in the classroom doing that over and over and over, year by year. So for me, the perspective is really pretty simple. For those of you who are wondering, how do I get to a hold of the commitments from my local universities? Find these teachers. Find the faculty, again, growing from the bottom up, who can be inspired by those teachers, to know that those are going to be the people who are in their classrooms, and that they are going to be taking back what they learn at the institution, the institutes, to their local classrooms. From there, once you have the faculty interest, it's not so hard to get the attention of the dean and even of the provost. So I want to end by saying that, by and large, it's been my distinct privilege to have done the first of my TIP seminars. I'm hoping to do more in the future. But more importantly, it's been my privilege to be connected to these fantastic teachers that I couldn't have found in any other way. Thank you.